Our plan was co-created by thousands of customers and stakeholders. And it was challenged by the independent water forums. We trust this plan, with 91% of customers like me accepting it. It delivers what we want. And we remain firmly committed to our plan too. We were very proud that the plan led to sector-leading bill reductions and contained some really stretching targets, for example, being carbon neutral by 2027 and eradicating water poverty. Those goals are ones that have now led Water UK and its public interest commitments and exceeded government expectations. So now we're really worried that our customers' views are not being listened to and may well be overwritten and that future resilience could be underestimated and undervalued. That's not only our view, the independent view of our CCG in coming to their response on the draft determination supports our view too, as do independent stakeholders in our regions. During the research carried out by Northumbria Water, customers were very clear. We heard the same thing many times. They wanted to see some of the potential bill reductions reinvested in enhancement projects that will build and improve resilience. Reducing the enhancement investment, therefore, significantly runs contrary to the customer view. We clearly told customers that they could choose to take a smaller reduction and ask us to invest now to reduce the risk of more serious problems happening in the future. We spoke to them about our water and wastewater resilience proposals. Much of our resilience investment is in response to climate change, something that is supported by our customers and stakeholders. One of the key features of working in Northumbria is the cooperation between the various risk managers responsible for dealing with flood and coastal risk. Northumbrian Water, along with local authorities and the Environment Agency, have developed long-term programmes. We know that the bill payers and the stakeholders, because of the work Northumbria Water has done on opinion surveys, support this long-term approach and this cooperative approach that makes Northumbria the success that it is. It's extremely important in the future that we're able to continue this cooperative approach. In the last few years, with the prolonged drier periods, we have found that in some areas our water resources are not as resilient as they would have been in the past. In the south, layer water treatment works, designed in the 1940s, can no longer cope with the allowable loading that it's experiencing. This means we need to add a new primary treatment stage. While Essex has sufficient water overall, we need a way of transferring water from the large Abbotton Reservoir to the smaller Hanningfield Reservoir, but with a bigger treatment capacity. All schemes detailed in our business plan are critical to making our company more resilient and supplying water to our customers in line with our water resource management plan. Our proposed plan for a raw water transfer between our Abbotton and Hanningfield reservoirs is the type of scheme we know off what supports to improve connectivity between water companies. I would like to say that these investments surely are going to help and benefit all of Northumbrian water customers by not having to spend large amounts on reaction as opposed to a smaller amount on prevention. I would suggest that these investments, having been costed, should go ahead. It is much better to pay a little now than pay an awful lot later. I, as a Northumbrian water customer, urge Offwat to allow all the investments contained within Northumbrian Water's plan. We are concerned that Offwat hasn't given enough weight to the customer view in relation to the balance between investment, in particular resilience, and price reduction. So as you've heard, this plan involved the views of a huge number of customers, but also some very knowledgeable stakeholders in our sectors and in our regions. In putting together the plan, we took very seriously the guidance given by government in their strategic policy statement and also by Ofwat in looking at the things that we all believed really mattered. And I think our current draft determination does reflect well some of those factors, but in particular, we're concerned that future resilience is being significantly undervalued. Whilst we fully respect Ofwat's responsibility to look for efficiency, on behalf of customers. If you step back and look at our plan in the round, we don't believe at the moment it's delivering what our customers said that they wanted. Mm -hmm.